environmental concerns, food safety, dioxins, all in the news, and we've got a solution for you. Let's take a look on another progress report. Meet Simon Ellison, he's an application specialist, and we're here at Hemel Hempstead in the United Kingdom talking about POPs, persistent organic pollutants, a really tough analytical challenge and a big environmental concern. Simon, talk about this setup, and in particular, the thermoscientific TSQ Quantum XLS. Well, what we have here in Hemel Hempstead is the uh, TSQ Quantum XLS, and we use this to analyze looking for these persistent or organic pollutants. We use the instrumentation we have to look for these persistent organic pollutants using the XLS. We tend to use this instrumentation as a screening purpose, and if a positive result will actually uh, trigger, then we, we trigger the next step, which would be uh, naturally confirmation. And there's another piece of uh, hardware called the DFS, which is a, a magnetic sector instrument, which is high resolution, which allows you to get the confirmation accuracy for, for these um, persistent organic pollutants. So talk about the software, not only the analytical software, but as we were talking about the laboratory information management mm -hmm. system. Well, each instrument that I've just mentioned there has a particular piece of software which analyzes the, the data. But linked into that, we actually have Sample Manager 10, which is a, a LIMS or a laboratory informatics system, which allows us to send sequences and data to the instrument prior to analysis. Then the instrument takes over, does all of the analysis that we require for the screening or the confirmation. Once the sequence is completed, then we get an export of data back into the Sample Manager 10 system. It delivers um, traceability and it also matches the legislation that is required for the analysis of POPs. Inherently, this type of industry, you will look for dioxins or dioxin-like PCBs, which are classed in this uh, POPs area. Um, and these are generally or have been historically analyzed using the DFS, using this purely the the confirmation instrument, the DFS, or the, the sector instrument. Now we're giving customers the opportunity to, to use another option, just primarily for the screening, and at the point where you're required to confirm or be, uh, meet legislation, then use, uh, use the, the DFS instrumentation. So it's giving the options of screening and confirmation with a, a solution across. Learn more at thermoscientific.com slash sample manager 10.